Well, Tammy Abraham is uh, scoring 70% of our goals at the moment, which, um, I mean, sounds good from the outset, but uh, if he picks up an injury, it's going to be pretty bad. At the moment, he's not injured. He's fully fit, which is good, because we kind of need him to keep scoring those goals, but um, we've had injuries elsewhere. Yes, hello, welcome on to Living in Sports here for another episode of Glory Hunter with Roma at the moment. We're just here at the start of our first season of the challenge. So if you have missed the last episode, go and check it out. We played up against Lazio in the Rome Derby and we also had transfer deadline day. We're looking at the new transfer deadline day sort of shenanigans that goes on in Football Manager 22. Very much impressed with it. What happened in transfer deadline day? Maybe not so impressive but as i say go and check it out if you missed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of these episodes of glory hunter monday to friday at 11 a.m it's easy to remember 11 a.m sports 11 a.m the videos come out simple 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 don't worry about it nice and easy for you to remember since we last met each other we played three games we started our uh, europa conference league uh, campaign i'll say up against st johnson where we had a lovely 2-0 victory uh, at home against St. Johnson. Two goals for Tammy Abraham in that. We then played up against AC Milan where we managed to snatch a late winner. Tammy Abraham getting a 92nd minute goal in that one. AC Milan did score in the 94th minute. It was then called offside after VAR had a look at it. So we just about hung on to the win there. And we played pretty well, to be honest, up against Torino. But somehow came away with a nil-nil draw even though we played all right in that one. And it does leave us... Currently in 6th position in Serie A. Surprisingly top of the table just now are Hellas Verona. I I don't know how, but they are. They are currently top of the table. And if you had a look at the, the season preview before, they were expected to come 12th, 250-1 to 1 to win the league title. So I don't, I don't know how that happened. We ended up becoming third favourites, by the way. I didn't point this out before the season started. Uh, after all our transfers that we made, we have somehow become 5-1. to one to win the league after Inter and Juventus. So top four should certainly be what we are aiming for here. But you can see there, there's seven sides at the top of the table. Probably I would like to include Fiorentina and Torino in it as well. Maybe even Sassuolo as well. Top, you know, between seven and ten teams that are all really, really good in this league. And it's it's ones that, that's, there's not a lot of easy games in Serie A, I'll say that. But we are one of the favourites to win it. So hopefully we can do that. And as you can see, we're currently in sixth position. A win today would take us uh, into third, actually, which is not too bad. I don't imagine Hellas Verona, uh, Hellas Verona are going to stay in first place for too long, but you never know, there might be a surprise. So today we play up against Atalanta in Serie A, and then we play against Zoria from the Ukraine in our Europa, Europa Conference League group stage game as well. I'll just show you a little game of that, just so you, you know what's going on. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. As I mentioned, Tammy scored 7 of our 10 or 11 goals that we've scored this year. So hopefully Tammy Abraham keeps fit and keeps scoring the goals. Because as you can see, he scored 1 against Milan. He scored 2 against St. Johnson. He scored none of the ones against Lazio, actually. But he did score 1 of the goals up against Lucerne. He scored a goal against Empoli. He scored 2 of the goals against Lucerne before. Lucerne, Lucerne. I keep saying Lucerne. I don't think that's right. But it doesn't matter. We're not going to play them again. Tammy scoring goals and hopefully he can continue that today as we play at home up against Atalanta. So I mentioned we'd had a little bit of an injury crisis in the wing-back position and did we had, obviously we know Spinazzola is out for a while, we had Vas who picked up an injury, he's just about to return from injury and Calafiore picked up an injury as well, he's out for another five weeks, I remember he picked up a broken arm in that tough derby match up against Lazio so we, we kind of struggled in the the wing back position and that's why Ivan Perisic has ended up dropping back from his uh, position as the inside uh, the inverted winger sorry further forward to play as a wing back he's not particularly good defensively but he's all right so he can do a job in there for us for the next few weeks until we get some players back and I must say uh, we've got 
some some very capable central defensive players. Obviously, the injury to Kumbulla. He's just come back from injury, looks like Kumbulla. So we'll be able to pop him on the bench for us. But we've got six very capable centre backs between Albiol, Mancini, Romagnoli, Smalling, Ibanez, and Kumbala as well. Smalling, he's coming back from uh, from his injury. He's played a couple of games for us so far. Well, he's probably not going to be a first choice centre back, which. He might have a phone call, probably, at some point in a future episode to complain about that. So get ready for that to happen. But uh, he's doing not bad for us when he has had to play. But we're going to go We're going to go with this three uh, today. Albiol, Mancini and Romagnoli. So the rest of the team today then, as we said, Patricio and Go, Mancini, Albiol and Romagnoli at centre-back. Uh, De Schigli on the right and Perisic on the left. Veritu and Pellegrini in midfield. Zaniolo coming in off the right-hand side. Mkhitaryan who will be playing on the left-hand side instead of Perisic after Perisic had to drop back. And no surprises, Tammy Abraham up front. I'd mentioned, obviously, that we'd moved away from the five at the back to play four at the back. Well, because I ended up with so many injuries in the wing-back position... To play Perisic on the left-hand side, he can't play left-back. He can only play left-wing-back. So I went back to the five to get that uh, somewhat working. And we've got some good central midfield players as well, so we can cover in the midfield. And we've got enough wingers as well to cover for that. Just, just about. So uh, so that's why we went back to five. And we have, I say, won a lot of the games that we've used this formation. And they've changed a positive mentality. And we moved away from, uh, I can't remember where we were at, where we were on Tiki Taka or, or Wing Play, something like that. We've moved to control possession and a positive mentality and that's starting to work well. And you'll see that when we play up against Atalanta today. Hopefully, we get a nice win. So here we go out onto the field of play. Ourselves and Atalanta are on uh, similar points. We're in fact, level on points at the moment. So it's going to be a tough game, I think. Yeah, Atalanta are a good side. We're playing in our reddish colour. Is that the colour you call it? Maroon, maybe? With some orange on it. And Atalanta playing in blue and black. I must say, I do like the Atalanta kit. And Malinovsky has it in midfield for them here. Toiloy with it. And Demiril. Uh, oh, I think he's in on loan from Juventus. Remember, we used him for Juventus uh, last year when we played our one-season challenge with Juventus. Zapacosta, the wing-back on the right-hand side. Toiloy with it. And Perisic has won that ball back. He's pushed very high up to win that up against Zapacosta. And to Abraham who hits it. Oh, and it's off the edge of the goal, it looked like there. Possibly off the frame of the goal. And unfortunately, just wide. But a good chance there. Nice challenge from Perisic as he goes to win that ball back for us. And Descalio with it. And Pellegrini. And Zaniolo with it. And he drives into the midfield. He drives forward down the middle now. Can he get a shot at goal? He tries to chip with Rossi, the goalkeeper. And it's just not good enough. And we're still nil-nil at the moment. Veritu has picked up an injury, so we should probably take him off at some point. We'll let him play till half time, though, and then we can take him off. I don't want to make too early a substitution. Perisic with a free kick here. It's off the post of the bar, wherever it was, the frame of the goal, and Abraham tucks it in. The referee's blowing his whistle for offside. Let's see. VR, I imagine, going to have a look at it. Abraham scored a goal. Will it stand? No, it's been disallowed. He was offside. Abraham nearly get another one. But unfortunately, not quite. Perisic says, oh, that's close. Look how close that is. That line's almost on top of the other line. Abraham tucked in the rebound. But it was offside, according to the linesman in VAR. And it means that we are still nil-nil here as we have gone into the break. I'm saying I'm not happy with the performance. I'm actually not too unhappy with it. But, uh, but, but I'll tell them I'm not happy and see if they can play a little bit better. Castrovilli in on loan from Fiorentina will be replacing Veritu in midfield. Veritu is a really important player for us. So hopefully he doesn't get injured playing out there. I just realised, obviously, Veritu has been injured playing out there. So... That what I just said doesn't make any sense. Hopefully he's not injured for too long, is what I meant to say. And you can see here, we do have a chance. Abraham with it in the middle. He's often a bit isolated when they play with a lot of defenders, uh, the other teams. But the ball's through from Perisic to Mkhitaryan here, and that's surely got to be a penalty kick. VAR's going to have a look at it, I'm sure. But it's got to be a penalty. I could see it with my own eyes that it was a penalty. And VAR will check for the penalty surprise, surprise. And they will award the penalty surprise, surprise. And who's going to step up to take it? I think it's Tammy Abraham. Can he get a goal? His first one was disallowed today. A second attempt at goal. Tucks it in that bottom corner. That one's not disallowed. His eighth goal of the season for us so far. And we are up 1-0. And yet again, Tam Abraham scores a goal. And he's the one doing all the goal scoring for us. If he keeps up, that's perfectly fine by me. 
Henrik Mkhitaryan has not been playing well at all. So off he comes. We'll bring on Stefan El Sharawi for him. And Descigli can come off as well. We'll bring on Davide Santon on the right wing back position. 20 minutes to go. We've got the ball here. Romagnoli with a free kick into Castrovilli. And the ball's forward toward El Sharawi. Back to Perisic. Perisic has... <laughs> What a goal from Ivan Perisic. Oh my goodness me. Thrashed into the top of the goal there. Perisic, even when he's playing in defence, gets forward and scores goals. What a goal from him. El Sharabi down the line here. Perisic in the acres of space. Cut back to him. He hits it first time. Rossi with no chance. And we lead 2-0 here. And it looks like we're going to walk away with a win here. You see, we've dominated in terms of the number of shots in the game. We've had less of the ball, but we'll take that if we score the goals. Tammy Zaniolo. Oh, nearly. I'm, I'm not calling him Abraham, am I? I'm calling him Tammy. That's what we're calling him from now on. Tammy Abraham nearly setting up Zaniolo with the upper there. We'll, we'll take off Abraham for the last five minutes and, and bring him uh, Shimurod, Sh Shimurodov. I need to change his name. I definitely do. Pellegrini hits it. Oh, and that's going in. What on earth's going on there? I'm too busy trying to pronounce our strikers' names. And it's been a fantastic goal from Pellegrini there. We get the ball from the throw-in. Santon into Pellegrini. Back to Santon. Into Mancini, the centre-back has come forward for the throw. Pellegrini gets it back, hits it all oh, straight at Rossi. And it's bounced off the post, I think, there. Or off the inside of the goal anyway. And across his goal it goes. That's poor, poor goalkeeping. But we will take that and we'll win this game 3-0. And one of, the game, one of the teams, this is what I was saying, this is one of the teams we need to be beating. And as long as we're above them, we should be getting into Europe. And the fact we're winning that one 3-0 is very, very decent Indeed, and we're still unbeaten here in Syria. Three wins, three draws so far. You can see draws against Torino and against Genoa and Empoli. The ones against Genoa and Empoli appear to be quite bad at the moment, but we've also had wins against Atalanta, AC Milan and Lazio. Three big wins against three big teams there, and we are up into third position at the moment. A lot of the teams still got a game in hand on us, but we're up into third at the moment, which is good to see. And that's the first game that we've won by more than a goal, so our goal difference is looking a little bit more healthy there. Goals from Abraham, Perisic, and also Pellegrini. So I was mentioning Veritu's injury, and he is out for four to seven days, so he won't be playing in our game in the Conference League, but he will be back for the game against Fiorentina. After that, I'm not going to go to this press conference because I never do, but I will see you very shortly for our Europa Conference League game. So here we are, ready for our second game of the episode, our second game in the Conference League, and it's a little bit of a rotated side for today's game. Patricio's going to get the game a goal. Mancini, Smalling, yes, Chris Smalling, and Ibanez at the back today. Vass is going to come back in on the right-hand side. He's struggling for a bit of fitness after his injury, so he'll play probably the first half, maybe the first 60 minutes, something like that. And Davide Santon on the left-hand side. Cristante will play midfield alongside Diawara. I'm not sure you will have seen Diawara before, so he's one of our sub options at central midfield, so he'll begin a game today. Mkhitaryan on the right, Shimurodov on the left-hand side instead of his normal sub-appearance up front. He's going to start on the left because Tammy Abraham is going to keep playing up front because he keeps scoring those goals. So we are at home, so we'll be playing in our red colour. It looks like they'll be playing in black, the opposing side. So let's see if we can dominate them this, this game. Even with a bit of a rotated side, we should win this comfortably. Vass with the free kick there. Mkhitaryan gets the header and heads that one wide. You can see for the formation that they are playing, they've got four central midfielders basically, a holding midfielder and three centre mids in front, so hopefully we can overload the wide areas with our uh, our wingers and our wing backs. That is the aim anyway. Let's see if that works. It started just now, Shimuradov down the left-hand side, back into Davide Santon, back to Diawara now, and we switch the play, hopefully. Cristante finds Mkhitaryan, and over to Vass, who's in acres of space, swings it in. Mkhitaryan rises for the ball, but doesn't get it. Vass swings it in, now in Abraham. Heads that wide, nearly a goal for Tammy. And here we go. A highlight started deep in their own half there, and we won the ball back. Shimuradov dropping deep, gives it to Ibanez. And Mancini, and Ibanez, and Mancini all the way back to Patricio, and we'll recycle this play, and go down the right-hand side with Smalling now. Finds Mkhitaryan, who's dropped deeper than Vass, and Vass goes forward. Back to Cristante now. 
And he's got lots of men in defence he can pass the ball to if he wants to. Diawara finds Santon, who's in acres of space. Shemurudov now, can he get the ball into the box? He can, Abraham heads it, and Abraham scores, of course he does. It's ninth of the season, he is going to get 40 goals this season. No doubt about that if he keeps up this form. He's absolutely clinical for us. The only man scoring goals, well, Perisic scores some crackers as well, but Abraham gets most of them, rises up for the header there. Heads that into the back of the goal and we lead 1-0. The opposition here, Zariah, have yet to get themselves a shot in this game and we've had nearly 70% of the ball. Total domination. And let's hope it continues as Vass swings in this corner to the front post. Mkhitaryan heads it and the ball's cleared away. I'm not sure why Mkhitaryan's at the front post. It should be one of the centre-backs. I need to make sure I've got my set pieces right before the next episode, but we've dominated this first half and we lead 1-0. But there's a chance for it to be 2 and that is Mancini at the back post after the cross from Vass from the free kick. 2-0 we lead just as it reaches half time. So many men we had in the box here. And Mancini rises up at the back post. We lead 2-0. A dominant performance. It continues. We... Yeah, we're pretty good. Hey. I, who'd have thought maybe maybe here in Glory Hunter maybe we're going to win all the stuff we need in Italy and the Conference League today and not maybe not exactly today but at this one team in this one season maybe we can do the treble who knows maybe I'm getting a bit too excited after after uh, the, our unbeaten start to the season I'll, I'll calm down a little bit but there is a chance here Mancini forward to Mkhitary and can we get the third into Abraham and it's cleared away just about and we're not going to get a third today well certainly not at this exact moment in time but there's another highlight immediately after we've only got 52 minutes on the clock Abraham dropping deep finds Vass back to Mkhitary Mkhitaryan then to Abraham Diawara and through to Abraham can he get his second no it's a great save by chance 7 the goal Free kick here on the edge of the box. Who's going to take it for us? Probably Vass. Yes, indeed he is. He takes it and it's in the top corner and it's his first goal of the season. What a goal from him, though. I only guess he's going to take the free kick because he took the one earlier for Mancini's goal. And indeed, about 22 yards out here, he curls that into the top corner. Oh, no goalkeeper's going to get to that. 3-0. Fantastic from Vass. His first goal for us since uh, replacing uh, our, our cards dorp at right back Vass is doing pretty well out there now he's back from injury between him and Discaglio doing doing well out there and he got a lovely goal to his name today and there's 20 minutes to go and Zoraya finally have their first shot they've got six yellows though so they're doing a lot of heavy challenging and here comes another chance for us Abraham nearly in but Chantsev gets on to the end of the loose ball and it's launched forward it's flicked on. There's nobody there, though. Oh, there is. There's Demchenko. He's managed to get himself a goal. That was poor defending. I think it was Ibanez who was meant to be marking that man. Nobody went to go and get the ball. The keeper didn't come out far enough. Ended up in no man's land. And Demchenko gets himself a goal. Let's have a look at this here. So Derenko flicks it on against Smalling. No surprise there. And then some poor defending here. Ibanez and also left wing back Santon don't track the man. Um, Demchen Demchenko... It was harder for me to say than it should have been. Got on to the end of it and he managed to, to score a goal, which kind of put the cat amongst the pigeons here. Maybe we can get a fourth. Shemuradov with it. Just why did the goal? We're going to make some changes with 15 minutes to go. Off can come Tammy. We'll bring on Mayoral up front for him. Uh, Davide Santon can come off and we'll bring on De Skiglio to play in his place instead. And Mkhitaryan can come off and we'll bring on Zaniolo to play on that right-hand side. Make three changes with 15 minutes to go. Cristante finds Diawara, who's played not too badly on his first game for us today. And that's surely a red card. A second yellow for Christian Dalbel, it looks like. Indeed it is, and they've had to make a change. Taking off a striker, bringing on a midfielder, it looks like. And changing their formation. They went slightly more attacking. But uh, it's not going to make a difference. As we will win this game comfortably. 3-1 at the moment. But there's another chance for a free kick for Vass. Is he going to score a second free kick of the game? Vass hits it. Yes he is. Outstanding from Daniel Vass. His second free kick. Two absolute pearlers from about 22 yards out. That's one just slightly further over than the last one. And he scores that in the top corner as well. Set piece specialist he is. 4-1 we lead now and we've won this game and we're comfortably top of our group now here in the Conference League with 6 points from 6. We're looking to win all of them I think and we'll comfortably win this group if we keep up the way we're playing just now.
So yes, looking at uh, how we're doing our competition so far, we've dropped down to fifth after everyone's played six games now in Serie A, but you can see we're just a point behind Inter in second. Somehow, Ellis Verona are still top on the table with six wins. When you look at who they've played against, it has been against Genoa, Salernitana, that's going to be a hard one to say, Empoli, Venezia, Sassuolo and Cagliari. So Cagliari and Sassuolo are two teams that are up here, but the rest aren't really, so... Maybe that's why, but I tell you, beating Cagliari and, and Sassuolo are, are not, um, are, it's, it's no main feat. That's the only defeat Sassuolo's had all season. So maybe Verona are going to be a, a dark horse this season in there. We are currently top of our Europa League group, as we say, and we haven't even entered the, the, the Italian Cup yet, the Coppa Italia. We've not done that yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back for the game up against Napoli. That could be a big one. They're currently in third position in the league, and we'll also get to play up against HJK. Uh, the, the 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 side from Finland. I'm, I'm sure they're from Finland, aren't they? Yes, they are indeed. They will be Helsingin Jalkalpallo Club. Yeah, I'm assuming they're from Helsinki. That would be my guess. We'll play against HJK and we'll play against Napoli the start of November. So we'll have a whole month to play between now and then. We'll advance a little bit further in the save so it doesn't get too stagnant for you. And then there's some big games coming up toward December as well. Look at that. A game against Juventus, a game against Inter. Maybe we'll jump over those to go toward January or maybe we'll get them shown as well. I tell you, there's so many games to show you here in Glory Hunter because they're all big games because we're always trying to win a tournament. It's not just about trying to get promoted or anything like that. It's about actually winning titles and cups and trophies and that is the big thing so if you have enjoyed today today's episode i'll try to get the words out so if you have enjoyed this episode we had a three now win and a four one win i think it's probably worth a like so please do hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss an episode monday to friday at 11 a.m and until the next one when we'll be playing all the way in november now up against napoli and hjk We'll see you then.